Happy weekend, saints of God. What a week, but we made it out all right. Amen, amen. To all of the St. John Northwest Construction Zone family and to our wonderful friends who have joined us today is Saturday, September 25th, 2021. Welcome to day seven of our 21 days of breaking ground through fasting, prayer, meditation, discipline, and study. How you living out there? Have you been doing well this week? Hey, this is Pastor Connie Jackson bringing to you our morning meditation. I pray that you are taking some time out on this Saturday morning to rest, relax, and rejuvenate. Since we will all be together for Sunday morning, hint, hint, uh, for Sunday morning worship uh, at 11 a.m., uh, there will not be a morning meditation tomorrow morning. Amen. However, I do pray that you will invite your family and friends to join us for an uplifting and soul reviving worship experience. Amen. Amen. Family, we only have two scriptural readings today. Uh, the first is from Daniel, the ninth chapter. Uh, three through six. Hey, while you're at it, why don't you just take the time to read uh, the entire chapter, uh, chapter nine of Daniel. Amen. Go ahead and read that entire chapter nine. And then for our second passage, we have Acts 5, 29 through 42, which is the conclusion of the story of Peter and John and the begging lame man that we started reading about Tuesday in Acts 3. Amen. Amen. For this morning's meditation, I want to encourage us to put our full confidence in God. I invite you back to the book of Psalms. We were in Psalm 23 on yesterday, but I invite you back to the book of Psalms, the 20th number of the Psalms, verses 1 through 9. It reads like this from the New International Version of Holy Scripture. May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy over your victory and lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now this I know. The Lord gives victory to his anointed. He answers him from his holy sanctuary with the victorious power of his right hand. Some 
trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to their knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. Lord, give victory to the king. Answer us when we call. I love in particular that seventh verse, some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but we as believers trust in the name of the Lord our God. I hope that blesses you this morning, uh, just to know that we have a tangible God, a true and living God, whom we can put our faith, our trust, and confidence in. Amen. Amen. I want to share with you again uh, from my book of devotion. Amen. Talking about putting our trust and our confidence in God. This is God talking to us. Amen. I am worthy of all your confidence, says the Lord. I am worthy of all your trust. There are people and things that deserve some of your confidence and trust, but only I, the Lord, deserve all of it. In a world that seems increasingly unsafe and unpredictable, God says, I am the rock that provides a firm foundation for your life. More than that, I am your rock in whom you can take refuge, for I am your God. You must not let your circumstances define your sense of security. Though it is natural for you to want to be in control of your life, God says, I can empower you to live supernaturally, resting in my sovereign control. God says, I am a well-proved help in trouble, and I am always present with you, says the Lord. I help you face unwelcome changes and even catastrophic circumstances without fear. Instead of letting anxious thoughts roam freely in your mind, lasso them, rope them, hogtie them by voicing your hope in me. Then bring those captive thoughts into my presence, says the Lord, where I will disarm them. Whoever trusts in me, says the Lord, is kept safe. Hallelujah, 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 and amen. Family, let us pray. Gracious and loving God, here we are again, thanking you for waking us up to see yet another day. We come boldly to the throne of grace, knowing that we can receive mercy in our time of need. We thank you for your grace and your mercy because it is because of your mercy that we have not been consumed. Great is your faithfulness towards us. We come confidently, God, because your word says, and this is the confidence that we have before you, that if we ask anything according to your will, you hear us. And if we know that you hear us in whatever we ask, we know that we already possess what we have asked of you. As we close out this week, O oh God, we thank you for protecting us from danger seen and unseen. Thanking you, O oh God, for lifting up our heads when they were down. Thank you for giving us the answers to questions that had us baffled. Thank you, O oh God, for making ways out of no way. Thank you, God, for keeping us in perfect peace when we thought we might fall apart from all of the chaos and uncertainty in our world. Thank you for traveling with us these seven days of this 21-day journey of becoming your true disciples. Holy Spirit, if we've gotten off track this week, gently put us back on the road and allow us to pick up where we left off. Maybe we haven't had the time to read all of the scriptures, but Holy Spirit, let the ones we did get to read minister to us in a meaningful and unforgettable way. 
Now, Lord, prepare our hearts for an individual and a collective worship experience tomorrow. Let us come to worship with a hunger and a thirst and a zeal to worship you in spirit and in truth. Be with our worship family, O God, who are right now preparing their hearts and minds to minister under your supernatural anointing. Allow someone to hear something, O God, that draws them closer to you and brings them to a point of decision to choose you over the world. We honor and adore you. It's in the name of Jesus the Christ we pray. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. Family, thank you so much for joining this me, joining uh, me this week uh, with morning meditation. Uh, once again, we won't have a meditation tomorrow morning, uh, but we will be right back here on Monday morning at 8 a.m. I pray you're being blessed by this. I pray that you're sharing uh, these morning meditations with friends and family and co-workers. Be blessed on this Saturday. Get some rest. Take care of yourself. Be safe out there. And if the Lord says the same, we'll see you tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. for Sunday worship. Amen. God bless you. Stay safe. Take care.